Hi, it's Alex. It's been a while since I recorded a new video, and the main reason for this is that my camera broke, which is kind of unfortunate. But the good news is I got a new spiffier camera, so hopefully my videos will be higher quality now. There have been a lot of kind of like heavy things going on in the news, and my last, um, my last videos have been about pretty heavy topics too, like political things, things like that, things related to gender identity. So I wanted to make like a sort of lighter topic thing, but something that I think is kind of serious in its own sense and can make an impact in people's lives. And that's ordering drinks in a restaurant. And you always say like, what? What's the big deal like ordering drinks in restaurants? I've noticed though that like when I go out with people to restaurants, we got to eat, a lot of people order drinks in the restaurants. And I'm not even talking about alcoholic drinks. People order like soda. It's a really common thing in America for people to order soda when they go out to eat at a restaurant. And the thing is like, it's really expensive. Like a lot of the times in some of these restaurants, the soda will be as much as $2 and it's almost never less than a dollar. So you're spending like a dollar to $2 on a glass of soda. And soda is pretty much empty calories. There's like not any nutritional benefit in there and it's probably having an adverse effect on most people's health when they drink it. So like, Maybe you're enjoying drinking it, but you're paying a lot of money and you're, you're not really getting a long-term benefit out of it. And I think people sometimes don't think about how much buying that soda increases the amount that they spend when they go out to eat. Like, a lot of the places I go out to eat are really cheap. Like, I can eat dinner for like $8, $10, $12. I rarely am going to spend more than $15 on dinner. So, and lunch is usually cheaper than that. So say you're spending $10 to eat. If you spend $2 to buy a soda, that's like a 20% increase in what you're paying. And at least as far as I'm concerned, like you're not getting much out of it. Like you can just order water, it's free. Some places like Chinese restaurants, a few other restaurants, you can get tea included for free even. I love that. Like when I go to Korean restaurants, I always get barley tea. It's almost always included for free. And it's this really great drink. It's a lot healthier than drinking soda. Um, I don't know. And just to me, it seems like pretty obvious that like refraining from ordering sodas in restaurants is one of those little things that you can do that maybe it requires a little bit of self-restraint because maybe you actually want that soda. But if you can exercise that self-restraint, you'll have more money in your pocket. And you can either use that money for something else or you can do what I do, which is go out to eat more often. I love going out to eat. Um, I do it a lot, but I tend to do it at relatively cheap places, and I tend to not spend very much money on it. Um, I also wanted to mention alcoholic drinks. This is also another area where you can exercise restraint. And a lot of places, alcoholic drinks are really, really expensive. Like if I go to the liquor store and I buy a six pack of beer, I can buy high-end craft beer, and the beer is always going to cost less than two dollars a bottle. It, a lot of good beer is, is like about like 125 a bottle, 150 a bottle if you're buying it in a six pack or a case. When you go to a restaurant though and you order a beer, even a beer in a bottle, you might pay five or six bucks for like a craft beer. Some places they have like these really high end beers and like you're paying like seven, eight, nine, ten bucks for like a single beer. I'm like, that's the cost of a pretty fancy six pack of beer. And like, when I think about that, it's like a factor of like six or something. I'm not going to pay six times as much for something when I go out to eat. I tend to only like to buy beer or alcohol when I go out if I feel like I'm paying for the space, paying for the ambiance. So like if I go to a bar and I'm sitting there for a couple hours with my friends, like I don't feel bad about spending like five bucks for a pint of beer or like 10 bucks for two pints of beer if I'm sitting there for a while. Cause I feel like I'm not just paying for the beer, I'm paying for the space. If I'm going out to eat, I'm paying for the food. I don't want to be paying through the nose for this like small amount of alcohol that I could be consuming in the privacy of my own home for a much lower cost. That's kind of how I think about it. A lot of people often like when I ask them, oh, do you want to go out to eat or do you want to do this? They're like, I don't have any money. And then the same people, I'll see them spending a lot of money when like buying like a glass of wine or like a glass of beer or something when they're going out to eat. And I see people spend like seven or eight bucks on craft beers and stuff. And I'm like, 
hmm, this is like a choice, you know, like, and my personal choice, I like to go out to eat a lot, and I don't like to buy alcohol unless I'm specifically paying for the space, you know, like I'm chilling in a certain place. Then I feel like I'm supporting the establishment. It's a kind of a good thing. I like to support the businesses. I'm not going to be just sitting there using their space and not paying them any money. Anyway, that's what I want to say. I hope that this has inspired you to spend a little bit less money on drinks, if that's something that you think would benefit your life, to spend less money on that, and that you can have a higher quality life as a result. Thank you.